We finally made it here. We spent an entire week in Madrid and even though Madrid is awesome, it's exciting to put on the backpacks and get trekking somewhere else, especially in a town that is much more slower paced and quieter and less busy than Madrid. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Air, air, air Airbnb is that way. Toledo, the center of town is that way. We have our huge backpacks on. We can't check in until three o'clock. Currently it's 12 o'clock now. So we're just gonna do some walking and exploring. And fun fact, Toledo is the, was the original capital of Spain before it became Madrid. So that's really cool. The entire city of Toledo is basically walking upstairs and just going higher and higher. It's gonna be a good, workout today. modern architecture but it works for this place and yeah it's super cute so I'm gonna show you around I love the blue look that everything uh, the blue grays the whites super clean looking we have the stovetop we have a cute little toaster that matches we have a washer machine which is awesome and then I know in cribs they like to display their refrigerator with all the cool drinks and everything well take a look we got nothing nothing in there folks we have a cute sitting area, dining room. I love this. 
And then if you look outside, you can see the amazing castle. I think a castle? Castle from Mountain Toledo. And then we have a TV, we have Wi-Fi. I love this backsplash, very clean. And then you walk into the bathroom, a big standing, uh, what's it called, shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More cute, modern, clean looks. And then this is our bedroom. Very white, clean, blue, love that. And then lastly, just our closet, which it's just a closet. There's nothing special. There's stuff in there now. And yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go and go walk up that mountain. Okay, so from here on out in this video, something happened to our phone, our camera, and the voice just sucks. Basically in this clip I'm saying that I picked an orange to eat for a snack and Shelton picked a energy drink just for some energy, obviously, but I'm just making fun of him because I obviously picked the healthier option. Okay, so in this next clip, Shelton and I went to the torture museum right in the center of Toledo. It basically is a small museum that displays a lot of torture devices used in the Spanish Inquisition and other times in medieval Europe. If you didn't know already, Toledo, Spain is known as the city of three cultures, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim. They all co co coexisted in these stone walls. And the city is actually a very big site for the fierce persecution during the Spanish Inquisition. So... Going into this exhibit was off-putting, but interesting, like I said before. There's five rooms inside the museum demonstrating all different types of torture devices. Plaques throughout the museum offer descriptions of tools, both in English and in Spanish, which was super helpful. And while the museum is home to the infamous medieval devices like the rack and the Iron Maiden, it boasts a lot collection of lesser-known instruments of torture, Pieces like the choke pair and the chair of Judas demonstrates the sadistic inventions um, at work within the Inquisition, with uh, many contraptions designed to punish specific offenses or prolong suffering before death. It, it's a lot to take in. You kind of feel weird going in and leaving, but very interesting and just um, something that you don't really see in textbooks back home. So when we were buying tickets to go to the museum, the torture museum, it was actually a better deal to include the Museo de las Brujas, so the Witches Museum, and it was right down the street, probably a three minute walk from the torture museum, so we did it right after, and if that museum wasn't weird enough, this one is definitely the weirdest in Toledo. Pretty cool, it had a bunch of unusual objects, creatures, potions, spells, um, all of different, just a collection of unusual things. Supposedly it was, a lot of the collection was from um, an Italian merchant from the 19th century. And it, yeah, it was pretty epic, pretty interesting to read. Everything again is in Spanish and also in English. So that was very helpful. And yeah, you just have to go see it for yourself. It is pretty amazing.
Okay, we just finished up with the torture museum, and I hope that doesn't like deter people from watching it's, or it's, thinking weird of us, I guess. But I thought it was really interesting because it is part of history, um, but it's still like disturbing and sad, and we kind of feel mellow right now. So, yeah, very interesting, but whew, a lot. The museum about the Inquisition and torture, and I'm surprised people like even went through with that stuff, things we saw, but we learned from it, and yeah. hopefully, well, people who go they become better people and learn not to do that. <laughs> obviously, there was a lot to take in, and hopefully, walking through the city will make us happier again. <laughs> yeah, I say definitely do it if you're in Toledo. Um, bring your student ID if you're a college student or just a student in general, because it is cheaper. But wow, that was a lot. A lot to handle. Very interesting, but a lot. So when we were looking for a place to eat dinner, we saw a sign that said um, a two course meal with a dessert all for like eight euros or something like that. And we thought it was a jackpot because the appetizers weren't half bad. And in this video, I'm basically saying it's not good. We got to the entree part of it and it was disgusting, but a good learning lesson nonetheless. Okay. So it's not like that place was terrible. You definitely get your money's worth. Eight dollars, you get two courses, a dessert, and like wine or coffee or beer or whatever, which is cool. But uh, you know, it's a bad sign when they, when you order, when you order, they take away the menu. You hear the microwave go off. Comes in instantly. And then the food comes to you instantly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but by then we were stuck. So the first course was pretty decent it was you know lentil soup and paella which was pretty good not like amazing pretty good and uh 
that second round just wasn't wasn't good but it's okay because now we're going to the Christmas market and gonna get dessert